welcome back to the channel guys it is me 87 before so today guys i'm gonna do a video about eden hazard guys he officially retires from football guys and i feel like we should do a video about him now i did i know i did a youtube short earlier today a very very brief one keep in mind though that youtube short was made right at the morning it was just made at the announcement and remember guys it's only one minute i had to do the heat of the moment i hadn't really had time to just think about it right so now with the proper video I can go a bit more in depth into it. I can discuss this more in details, give you guys my thoughts. So this will be a good, kind of an extensive video. I'm probably thinking like 10 to 15 minutes to really have an honest conversation with Eden Hazard and his legacy as a player because the guy is unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Let's start with the positives first and then we'll discuss about the negatives. Um, and so, yeah, obviously he'll go down as a Leo legend. I think even the Leo admin on Twitter actually posted that he's actually a Leo legend, which is incredible because obviously he won a league title there and he was the last player to win a league title with Lille before Lille, of course, won it a few seasons ago. So shout out to him. He was amazing there. And that, and believe it or not, guys, he actually started there in his senior career. He never even started at a Belgium senior club, which is a very, very incredible achievement. That just shows how good he, how talented he was that he could start at a French club at his senior career. You know, because like I said, guys, most Belgian players they don't start at their um, they start at they start domestically. So you know, shout out to him. Eden Hazard, man. Like, the guy is, like, one of the best Chelsea players ever. One of Chelsea's best ever players. And I think the guy was unbelievable with his dribbling, the way he's able to control the ball with his feet, and the way he was able to score goals. Because remember, guys, under a lot of time at Chelsea, he had to carry the team. A lot of the players in Chelsea were simply not great. He had to carry the team, and he won various trophies with them. He won a league title with them, won the Europa League with them, and he was amazing. He was absolutely brilliant. And a lot of times, he was scoring the goals that was necessary to give Chelsea those wins and remember guys a lot he played under a lot of defensive managers under um you know Jose Mourinho Antonio Conte and then in his 18 and 19 season he was very good very very good season under I think that was under Sarri he was very good that season was his best season and obviously he made the move to Real Madrid as many players wish to make the big move you know it's like the pinnacle of club football it's like Real Madrid is one of the biggest clubs in the world I'm even saying this as a Barca fan right and he failed at Real Madrid he failed big time, and there's no denying it. He failed big time. He didn't live up to the pressure, and he ultimately became a flop. And is regarded as one of the worst summer, uh, one of the worst transfers in history. You know, now is that my opinion? No, it's just a general consensus. He's one of the regarded as one of the worst transfers in history, and Eden Hazard will be remembered in a very negative bad light when you talk to Real Madrid fans. So, as far as club club legacy is concerned. He's a Chelsea legend. There is no denying that. He was absolutely brilliant for Chelsea. He stayed from 2012 to 2019. And I believe Chelsea Football Club, they actually posted a compilation. They did a YouTube stream, a live stream, going through every single goal he has scored for Chelsea. It's unbelievable. I recommend to check it out, guys. Highly check it out. It's a very long stream. I think it was like around eight hours showing every single goal he scored. And like I said, guys, he will go down as a club legend. There's no denying that, you know. And obviously, he's won a lot of accolades as well. Now, the one thing I will say about Eden Hazard and his club legacy, we'll then discuss with international, is that the Champions League underperformed. Champions League he underperformed big time. And I know even himself is going to admit this, that he didn't live up in the Champions League. Like, I think he's only got really, very, he's not really got memorable, any great memorable performances. I, I heard he had a, I think he had a good performance against Atletico Madrid with Chelsea, but that's about it. That's really about it. Like, there is no other memorable performances from Eden Hazard in the Champions League. And that's a very, that's really sad, considering how good of a player he is and how talented he is, you know. That in the Champions League, he didn't live up. And I know people are going to tell him, oh, look, he won the Champions League with Real Madrid. Guys, <laughs> I, I mean, w yes, it counts, but how much credit are we going to give Eden Hazard for that Champions League season? Come on. Like, are we really saying that he was instrumental very important to why chelsea i mean sorry when real madrid won the champions league of course not anyone saying that he is is stupid like come on he didn't have that much of a contribution so i don't really want to use that um they don't really want to use that trophy as an excuse not an excuse but rather like we can't really give a lot of credit for it right so you know there's that now time to talk about international legacy we're going to have to have un very uncomfortable conversations about Eden Hazard in terms of international. Because international, guys, uh, it's not good. It's not great. And I think he himself knows that 
that World Cup 2018 was the closest chance he had to win an international trophy with Belgium. Because, dude, if he wins a World Cup with Belgium, we're having a completely different conversation with Eden Hazard. We could change, the, the whole outlook completely changes. It doesn't matter how crappy it was for Real Madrid. A World Cup winner gets a lot more positive spotlight. Just saying. Especially for a country like Belgium. Because that would have been the first World Cup ever. And one of the, you know, they haven't really won much of trophies in general. That would have been a huge trophy for his legacy. And I, it, he had such a good performance in that World Cup. He was amazing against Tunisia. He was fantastic against Japan. He was amazing against Brazil. And especially against France. That France performance was very good, guys. That was a very, very good performance. And it's just a shame his teammates let him down on the day. You know. And um, there's a certain conversation to be had there. Um, is he Belgium's best ever player? That's an cr- interesting conversation to have. Because for me, I think he is. I think he is. Um, because, like I said, for me, it's between Lukaku, KDB, and these three. It's really between these three players. Courtois, no. You know. Like, obviously, he's a good goalkeeper, amazing goalkeeper, but let's be real. He's not going to be in the same breath. Goalkeepers don't get that same appreciation. Uh, the reason why I say he's got a be- he's been better than both e- Eden is- Lukaku and KDB is that he's got more. He's more talented. He's more talented than those two players. Now, has KDB achieved more than him? Probably yes. I think KDB is actually going to. I think KDB will actually be remembered more, better. But I think in terms of talent, I think Eden Hazard is better. You know, and the thing is with Eden Hazard is that he carried the team, and I feel like for me. The team just didn't let them... Like, for me, I think KDB didn't show up in that 2018 semifinal. He didn't show up. I don't think he had a good game. You know? And Lukaku as well didn't have a good game. Eden Hazard was the only good... Only real good attacker for Belgium on that day in particular, I remember. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So, I just think for Eden Hazard in particular, man, his international legacy is great. And obviously the Euros, man. 2016 Euros, man. You got ousted by Wales... Not a good look, man. Not a good look. And then obviously, 2020 Euros, man. It's just a shame. Because they knocked out defending champions, Portugal, and then they lost to Italy. And we all know that Italy Euro 2020 team looks very, very funky now. Especially against they didn't qualify for the World Cup. But that, that's not my friend of their time. And the point I'm trying to make here with Eden Hazard is that how will he be remembered? Like, will he be remembered as a player that lived up to his potential? Or will he be a player that that played because like I said guys he's a Premier League legend he's a Chelsea legend but we got to ask serious questions at Real Madrid he just didn't perform well he had a lot of injury concerns and I think did he have like motivation concerns at as well at Real Madrid because that's an important thing is that I don't think he was as motivated because the thing is like I think Hazard thought to himself okay I made it to Real Madrid so therefore I don't have to work as hard or do extra stuff now because I've already been here they're not going to kick me out but the thing is, Real Madrid is not as a club that has high prestige, high standards. Okay, Real Madrid, as I said earlier in the video, is one of the biggest clubs in the world. They're not just gonna allow you to just slouch around and just, uh, you know, just like you know, don't do training at all. And that's the important thing with Eden Hazard is that he could have been so much more if he actually did, was a success. Real Madrid, he could have been remembered more, you know. Because like I said, for me, my issue with Eden Hazard is that yes, he's a fantastic player. The guy is unbelievable. But in terms of actual deliverment, in terms of actually delivering, he didn't really deliver, if we're being honest with you, at Real Madrid. You know? And I think for me, if he had performed for Real Madrid, we would have very different conversations. We would be putting him as one of the best players in this generation. And he is, of course, he is. But we would remember him more positively. He would be remembered more as like a player that will be remembered more. He will be remembered on the same breath as Messi Ronaldo. And that's the issue is that he didn't live up to those standards. And some more people are even drawing the comparison that he is like kind of similar to like Pogba and Neymar. Which is also interesting. But that's a topic for another time. So to overall round things off, guys. Round things off. Eden Hazard, as I said, will go down as a Chelsea legend. He will go down as a Premier League legend. He will go down as one of the best players in this generation. But the issue is that Will he go down as like an all-time great? Will he be going down? At, will Will he be in the same conversation as Messi Ronaldo? And the it, the answer is no. You know those two players are extraordinary and amazing, amazing players that 
Like, you have to do a whole lot to surpass them. You know? And I think for Eden Hazard, what he's going to look back, and I think he's going to regret this the most, is that he didn't do much at Real Madrid. At Real Madrid, he was regarded as a meme, as a joke. And that's the sad thing, is that that Eden Hazard, that prime version, we never get to see. And then obviously at Belgium, I think that World Cup is going to haunt him the most. I think that World Cup is going to be the one that's going to disappoint him the most. Because, like I said before, guys, he didn't win an international trophy for Belgium. But like I said, though, I'm not going to be too critical on the of the international grand scheme of things because Belgium, at, as a whole, they didn't win anything. You know, and that's an issue we have to discuss entirely in a different video. You know, so just let me know your guys' thoughts on Eden Hazard as well in the comments below, guys. And tell me what you guys think about him. We'll probably discuss more about this on the member stream on Friday. So remember, guys, to join the members thing. Um, click the link in the description below to become a member of the channel. And um, we'll discuss this definitely in depth on Friday. We'll discuss this for sure. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And comment up with your thoughts, comments below of Hazard. And also, let me know, guys, your favorite moment of Eden Hazard. And also, um, tell me whether he is underrated, overrated, or fairly rated. For me, I would say he's fairly rated. And my favorite moment is when he did against France in that 2018 World Cup. That, for me, is most memorable for me, at least. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.